power up hello internet this is Game of Bros Advance I'm player one and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time ah now this is a classic right here now I will say this is my second favorite Zelda game the first one I'll be playing for you guys a little while later but I want to play this chronologically so let's get started shall we Oh, wow. Everything's filled. All right, cool. We will just erase one of these. Yep. Sounds good. All right, cool. Let's go on. And as per tradition, we will name ourselves GBA because that's who we are. We are Game of Bros Advance. That should do it. <laughs> it's going to be funny to hear them call them by that. All right, why don't we... Let's not waste any time. Let's not waste any heart pieces. Let's get right to it. Oh, man. This is actually a really good one. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the great Deku Tree. I always thought it was Dooku Tree. <laughs> Star Wars. But it's Deku. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy, because he's not special. He's a loser. <laughs> you cold, buddy? You cold? You're shivering. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. The cinematics of this game are top-notch. Very good. Hey, fairy, now we have one. It's the princess! Wait, where are you going? Oh my goodness, it's a creepy man on a horse! And he's green! With red hair! Look at that astonished look. This actually was a game that actually kind of... Both this one and my favorite one actually had a lot of stuff that was really creepy. Oh, more plot. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. What do you want? <laughs> oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words. The words of the Deku tree. Trees can talk, apparently. <laughs> Dost thou sense it? Wow, your, your, your language is very archaic, but okay, I'll live with it. The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. That sounds bad. For so long, the Kyokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. Nice. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy, who happens to be the named after a really popular YouTube channel, to begin his journey. <laughs> well, I hope to be popular, but you know, keep doing this for fun. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon me. Well, that's a lot of responsibility for one tiny fairy such as mine, such as me. Here I go! And I know Navi's a girl, but, you know. <laughs> My girl voices are a little hard to work with. Whee! Oh, right underneath him. Hello, fairy, uh, fairy kid. Oh, man, look at this. This is... I mean, yeah, the graphics aren't fantastic, but it does look really nice. Now, I'm not going to talk to everybody. I know where to go. Ouch! That hut! The wildy hut. Kid lives in a treehouse? Great. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, dee, dee, beep, beep. Such a catchy music. Hello? Hello? GBA, wake up! 
The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. GBA, get up! Are you still shivering? Oh my goodness! Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Well, hey. He's trying to get some Z's in. Cut him some slack. <laughs> What's up? You finally woke up. I'm Navi, the fairy. The great Deku tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet ya. Yeah, nice to meet you too, fairy that just broke into my house. The great Deku tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Yep, alright. Let's not waste any time, let's go! Onward to adventure! The Kokiri Forest. Oh, man. It's been forever since I've played this game, but I have a pretty good idea of what to do, so we won't be lost or anything. Hey, it's our really, really cute friend... Uh, I forget her name. S Sari or something. I don't know what the relationship was of her with this with this girl, but it's cool. Wow, a fairy? Finally, a fairy came to you, GBA? You betcha, ma'am! <laughs> I bet you're so impressed by me, aren't ya? <laughs> that's such a cute laugh. Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Heh <laughs> I bet you are. Sorry. Now, now you're a true Kokiri, GBA! Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Thank you. You are very interesting. I don't know. I always found this girl interesting. She obviously really likes Link, and I always thought that was cute. But, uh, yeah, let's let's head straight to the Deku Tree. Well, like I said, I'm not going to talk to everybody, but... Oh, you. Oi, you. No, Mr. Fairy. No, Mr. Fairy. Mr. No Fairy. I know how to read my words. What's your business with the great Deku tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. <laughs> I love this voice I gave for this guy. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku tree, Deku tree won't actually summon you? What? <laughs> Nothing to sway too much. Why would he summon you and not the great Mido? Mido. However you pronounce my name. This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. Well, you, sir, are a jerk. Oh, it's Dr. Navi. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. Well, we can't go yet. Mido over here won't let us in unless we get ourselves a sword and a shield. So we gotta go get some money. So, uh, let's go get some money, shall we? Whee! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Girls laughing. Someone's looking at me. Hi, GBA. Look this way. Look over here with Z and talk to me with A. Like, really? Come on! Hi. Yes, yes! See, that's like how you use a fairy. Like, jeez, have you never had a one a fairy before? Goodness! It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. I'm like so happy for you. <laughs> I'm starting to go <laughs> little Fabio right there. I'll teach you how to use your I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. What a fairy like flies near a person or thing. Proceed to like look at it in a, in that direction. If you use Z-targeting, you can, like, talk to people from a distance, like we're doing right now, if you can't plainly see it. Gosh. When you have nothing to... When you have nothing that you can target, you can, like, press Z just to look forward. Try it! <laughs> I love doing voices. It is so much fun to do voices. Okay, so we need to get a few rupees. So... I'm gonna do that right now, and um, if something comes up and I want to like share it with you, I'll 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 show it in the video. So um, 
Be back in a moment. Ooh. Ah! Oh no! There we go. Ah. Oh, there's a. Who the heck are you? Hee 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 hee. You came all the way up here? You're a real man. Look, isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with the up camera button so you can look around the forest with the control stick. Bye-bye! Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna get the sword first, because I know there's a lot of money where the sword is, so let's get the sword. Let's talk to this guy first. Huh. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while Z targeting, press A as you move right or left. To do a backflip while pressing Z targeting, whatever you do that. I don't know how we know about these buttons. I mean, what are buttons? We don't know what they are. Press A as you move backwards. To do a roll attack while Z targeting, press A as you move forward. While you roll, you can avoid damage. If you have your sword ready while Z targeting, you can do a jump attack by pressing A. A jump attack does double damage. Dude! You can use the Z targeting on the stone next to me, so let's practice. Yeah, I'm not gonna practice with you and your pet rock, so goodbye. Alright, so the sword is in here. We gotta be careful because there are boulders everywhere. I just gotta watch where I'm going. Ouch! Da -da 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 -da. Ouch! Would you leave me alone? Oh, no, no! Oh! <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That was funny. Alright. Oh, another one. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Here it is! I got the Kokiri Sword! You got the Kokiri Sword! On the equipment subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri. But you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Sure, whatevs. All right, let's equip it. Do, 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 do. There we go. I don't know how that saving mechanic works. I mean, I, I guess it works somehow. I guess to an extent it works. But like I said, this is my second favorite um, Zelda game. The first being uh, <laughs> Majora's Mask, and don't worry, I will be playing that for you guys. But I might make it like a like a October special because it is, it's such a great game because it's so spooky. But let's talk about this game right here. Like I said, the there was a remake of this made for the 3DS, and I did play it. But honestly, I just love the charm of the original. It just looks really nice. Oh, right, there's some money in the great Midas. I'm going to... Ah! <laughs> Ooh, money. Give me. All right, we just need just a little more. I think we can get some when we uh, cross over this uh, this here landscape. Or not. All right, where is the great Mido's house? Is this it? House of Twins. That's not it. This is Siri's house, I think. Saria, that's her name. Sorry, I keep confusing her name with the name of the uh, of the girl Clancer from Mischief Makers. Which, by the way, you should totally ah, here we go. The house of the Great Mido, voice of the Kokiri. I'm important. Yes, of course you are. Hope you don't mind if I steal all your belongings. All right, there's one. Ah, that should be enough right there. I think it's 40. I'm pretty positive it's 40. Okay, that should be more than enough. And in here? Hmm, a heart. Who did you steal that from? You have a really dumb house, Mido. Okay, let's go get ourselves that, uh... Well, wait, let's have an even 50 just to be on the safe side. There we go. Just in case. But trust me, this game... Oh my goodness. Once we get to, like, the halfway point... Oh, now I get the blue ruby. Once we get to the halfway point, 
Some of the stuff that we see scarred me for life as a child. <laughs> but I still played because it was so cool. There's the shield. That was 40 rupees. Deku shield, bye. Thank you. I got the Deku shield. Switch to equipment, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. Would you like to buy something else? No. Your products suck. <laughs> All right. So let's, uh, let's have ourselves... Oh, okay. Let's equip our shield. All right, Mido. What do you got to say about this, buckaroo? If you want to see the great Dooku tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Well, happy holidays to you, too. <laughs> Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. Well, it's obvious Saria likes me. You're just a shrimp. You're just a small fish in a big pond. What do you have that to offer? That's right. Nothing! <laughs> All right, let's go talk to the Great Deku Tree, and maybe we'll call that an episode. Oh! Die! I got the Deku Stick! This guy's so happy about everything he get he gets for the first time. All right. There we go. Thank you. Boom! Uh, let's put this away. Let's go talk to the mustached tree over here. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Wow, you're a big fella. Nice eyebrows. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. GBA, welcome. Should've called myself Player One, but that's okay. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. Ooh, my favorite kind of sleep. Not really. Oh, excuse me. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. I hast felt it. Now can you just stop talking so archaic goodness? GBA. The time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. Nothing, nothing too serious, but I just got cursed and I probably could die. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Sure, you assume I have both of those things, and I'm pretty certain I do, but okay. Thus thou have the courage enough to undertake this task. Um, yeah, duh. Why wouldn't I? Open wide! <laughs> I'm sorry. Then enter brave GBA. And thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid GBA. You mean to be an annoying, annoying little twerp that just keeps on saying, Hey, hey, listen, listen! That's okay, I'm alright with it. When, and GBA, when Navi speaks, use up on the camera button. To listen well to her words of wisdom. Will do. But we're going to have to come back to this next time. Next time we'll head inside the Great Deku Tree and we will see what's in store for us. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos me and Player 2 have done. This is Gamer Bros. Advance. I'm Player 1 and I am Powering Down.